Hi everybody, and we're here on November 3rd, 2008, and I've got a letter right here from Missy in upstate New York. Here's the thing, if you're watching this on my website, you're seeing right up above my head the actual question. If you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else, then you'll have to go to my website to check out the question. So I apologize that it's a little bit too wordy to go through the entire thing here. That said, Missy from upstate New York writes in a problem and it's about grass clumps that are dead in the lawn and it looks like animals have just torn it all up and you've got nothing but dead clumps all over the place and bare soil and you can just wipe the grass away and they don't know what happened this year. They did aerate the lawn and they did some other things and they don't know if maybe that had an effect. What I can tell you is this, I haven't seen this place in sight, on site, I have not seen pictures of it. But the description is absolute textbook grub damage. Okay, what happens is grubs are the larval form of various types of beetles. The beetles lay the eggs during the summertime, the eggs hatch in the end of summer, early fall, and then they feed on the roots of the grass through the fall. So what happens is after a while, their feeding causes significant damage, there's no roots left, the grass starts to brown out and die off, and then there's lots of critters like skunks and, and uh, raccoons and things like that that absolutely love grubs. So, those animals sniff them out, come into your yard, and just tear the whole place up, digging away, and it's a free buffet. So, I'm sorry, Missy, but that's what you got going on. Unfortunately, it's a little too late to do anything about it this year, unless you want a sod. Sometimes a sod will sit there okay over the winter, but I would plan on just kind of regrouping for next year and dealing with that. It's just not a whole lot you can do right now. The new grass isn't going to grow from seed. It's too cold and you wouldn't be able to water it anyway because the hoses will probably freeze overnight on you. This is why in the summertime I tell people to get out there and treat to prevent grubs so that you don't have to deal with something like this. So good luck Missy. I'm real sorry I don't have better news for you.